I, I, I grabbed a bunch of stories that I had written before, and I think it's funny that I have an election preview, and then for the fiscal cliff, I say new, freshly elected President Barack Obama. Totally fine. 20 seconds. Just put a package in between them. We'll fix it. Hello and welcome to District Wire News. I'm Haley Jardis. On the eve of the presidential election, Mitt Romney and Barack Obama are barreling towards the finish line. According to a Washington Post and ABC election tracking poll taken this past weekend, 49% of those polled supported Obama and 48% supported Romney. Romney, originally intending to hold his final campaign rally in New Hampshire, may be heading to Florida for one last shot at wooing the swing state. Meanwhile, Obama is keeping his eye on Wisconsin to prevent a challenge from the GOP, and then he will head to Iowa. Polls and political experts are saying that this race is going to be exceptionally close. The hearing begins today for U.S. Staff Sergeant Robert Bales, who is being charged for slaughtering 16 Afghan villagers in a rampage last March. Bales, a 39-year-old father of two from Lake Taps, Washington, could be facing the death penalty if found guilty. This preliminary hearing, scheduled to take place in Washington state, could take as long as two weeks. Military prosecutors are set to show surveillance videos of Bales on the night in question, and part of the hearing will be held at night in order to accommodate live video testimony from Afghanistan. The massacre last March left 16 dead. Nine of them were children. It was winner-take-all at the box office this weekend, with Wreck-It Ralph taking top prize. The release is Disney's new animated feature film about a video game villain who for once just wants to be the good guy. Wreck-It Ralph came in with 49.1 million, leagues ahead of this week's number two movie, Flight, which only had 25 million. Flight is a story of a pilot who struggles with drug and alcohol use, starring Denzel Washington. Flight came behind Argo, The Man with Iron Fists, Taken 2, Cloud Atlas, Hotel Transylvania, Paranormal Activity 4, Here Comes the Broom, and Silent Hill Revelation. The fiscal cliff is fast approaching as December 31st gets closer on our calendars. The terms of the Budget Control Act of 2011 go into effect on January 1st, which has been nicknamed the fiscal cliff. Economists speculate that reaching the fiscal cliff could mean another recession if Congress and the White House cannot reach an agreement. Freshly elected President Barack Obama and House Speaker John Boehner have mentioned compromise, but appear to be holding their ground on issues such as whether or not to raise taxes for the wealthiest Americans. Syria is stirring up trouble with its neighbors as the country's internal conflict continues to spill over its borders. Israeli officials are concerned that an accidental mortar fire into their country may not be so accidental and are now investigating the incident. Syrian forces bombed a rebel-held area near the frontier and killed more than a dozen people in Ras Al Ain. Turkey reported the incident to the UN Security Council, saying these attacks were too close to the Syrian-Turkish border. Fall Fringe Festival enters its final week of shows after exposing the capital area to a wide range of new and interesting theater. A celebration of original, uncensored, and independent theater, Fringe Festivals happen all over the world, usually in the summer months. Fall Fringe features shows like Dizzy Miss Lizzie's Roadside Review, Rockwell's Universal Sex Bots, and Tent of Dreams, an OccuPlay. The festival will end on Saturday. Thank you for joining us here at District Wire News. I'm Haley Jardis.